Hey everyone, this is me, you, and welcome to another fun Friday video. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Thank you all so much for your kind comments, likes, and name suggestions in my previous video. I'm glad you enjoyed this art challenge and I'll be trying to do part two sometime in the future. Okay, so today I'm gonna to be doing another blind scribble to finished art challenge. And basically, uh, I'm going to close my eyes so I cannot see anything. I'm gonna take my pen and just scribble randomly and blindly on my page. And based on what I scribbled, I'm gonna use that as a basis for my finished art piece. So I'm gonna be drawing on top of it, trying to make it look like a nice completed work of art. And this is something that is gonna be really like random and spontaneous. I cannot predetermine how this is gonna look like. Uh, so let's find out. Okay, so I have my pen and I'm just gonna close my eyes and scribble randomly on my piece of paper here. Uh, okay, let's go. I think it's going to be really hard to turn this into a finished piece of art. Alright, so at first I was thinking about how am I going to tackle this scribble and make it into like a nice looking piece of artwork that makes sense. And right away I noticed, you know, there's a lot of like curved lines and curved strokes. So I was thinking, okay, at least the image should look organic or have like an organic element to it. I was thinking... Uh, it looks kind of round and billowy. It could be like, I don't know, like a giant poofy dress or skirt. Because uh, the curves look like fabric folds. But then I was thinking, well, I don't want to just draw a dress. I want to like build a character of some kind. So then I was thinking about, well, some of those curves kind of look like... Um, like uh, the side of a face, like the hairline when you view someone's profile and then I was thinking well can I turn this into a face somehow and then I was thinking about the slope in front that could lead into like a nose of some kind and then I'll just figure out from there so then I was thinking okay great so I'm thinking I can make this into some kind of character design which is awesome because you know I love designing characters um so yeah I was thinking let's go with that direction and then I loved how part of the hairline in the blind scribble, it goes out like quite a lot into like a rounded point. So I thought let's make that into like a pointy ear, like an elf uh, ear of some kind. And then I was thinking, okay, cool. This character is like a fantasy character now. And then my imagination started to go really wild. And I thought let's give her or uh, this character lots of interesting uh, design elements. I wanted to design the face in a way that I usually don't with my original characters and designs. And as for the eye, I really didn't have a lot of space to draw like um, an eye. You know, I, that was what I was thinking at first. I was thinking, how am I supposed to fit a, you know, like an, a, a nice looking eye in this very narrow area? Um, because I have the hairline on one side, I have the nose on the other side. I didn't want to go across those boundaries too much. But then I thought to make the shape like that. Um, and she's kind of, you're kind of viewing the eye like from the side view. So it doesn't have to be so, so wide, I guess. Um, and then I really like the, the, the long lashes I gave this character. And as for the curls in her hair, I was thinking to repeat that curled element here and there to make this hairstyle look unified, but also kind of fancy. And um, it looks, you know, I, I do think this looks quite different from what I usually do. And then as for the face and part of the outfit, I think uh, this, you know, this scribble really got me thinking in such a free way. Like I can turn anything or I can, 
you know, I can move in any direction now. Like once I had this kind of uh, concept in mind, I can go anywhere with this design, and that was really freeing. In case you're new to my channel or if you want some nostalgia, you can see how I did in my part one of this blind scribble to finish art challenge. I did this uh, a few years ago. It's always nice to look back on how I turned a very different looking scribble into a finished work of art. And then it's nice to compare that to what I'm going to do now. Honestly, I am loving that tall forehead. Like usually when I draw my characters uh, in my other reimaginings, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that when I draw like in my semi-realistic style, I tend to not exaggerate certain features like the forehead. My characters' faces tend to have like regular proportions. So in this video, for this drawing, you know, it does feel like a little departure from my usual proportions, which is very interesting. It's always nice, I feel, to experiment with different proportions and such. Uh, to kind of get away from your usual um, like style of art and it was really interesting like especially how the nose slopes or the forehead slopes into the nose into the little pointy nose and then back in again into the lips and the way the hair kind of just bounces and like um, like it's it has so much volume I can feel like if this character was walking, I can see the, like her poofy hair just kind of going, you know, boing, boing, kind of softly like that. So all of these different things, it just, it makes me feel, you know, it, it makes me feel that as I am uh, drawing and coloring her, she is coming to life right in front of my eyes. And in my mind, you know, I can see how she moves, how she walks. So it gives me more insight into what kind of uh, character she is. And I always like to think that, you know, the imagination or the like the idea creation part of being an artist is I think probably the most important thing other than technical skill. Like technical skill to me is also, I mean, of course it's very important because you want your art to look good and proportionate or stylized in its own unique way. You want to know how to blend and color things correctly or in the way that you are envisioning. So technical skill is really important, but I do think the imagination is like the heart and the soul of each art piece. Um, this is how I like to think about it anyways and I'm just you know I, I do think that uh, in case there are any of you out there who are aspiring artists or who have been watching my videos or learning from my books and for a while you'll you know I do think that the more the more times you like uh, exercise your creativity and your technical skills the better you will become because we all learn by repetition. Like that's how I learned. I just, you know, kept practicing when I was really young and, you know, that really builds up skills over time. So in case any of you are wanting to go further in your art education and your own art journeys, just keep up the good work and keep practicing. And as for my coloring books, I'm really glad to know that many of you are coloring in my books on a regular basis. When you color in my coloring books, you are actually practicing your own like uh, artistic eye and trying to see what color balances or color schemes you like when you experiment with different art mediums or different color schemes in my various coloring books. You are actually practicing a lot of different skills and those will be really important later on when you're creating your own art. Then you have a lot of experience from before and you know the great 
thing about that is you're practicing, but you're also having fun at the same time. I've seen some of you post, you know, photos of all of my coloring books that I've made so far. And many of you have shared your coloring creations on Instagram with the hashtag MayYouArt and in your Amazon reviews. I always love looking at your beautiful work and, you know, like hearting them. And I'll show another batch of your coloring creations in a future video. You can also color in my coloring books and give that artwork as a very personal gift for Mother's Day. I always did that and I still do, you know, for my parents for Mother's Day, Father's Day, and their birthdays. I think it's so special to give them a piece of your artwork. There are more than 50 books on the Mayu Bookstore on Amazon. The link is in the video description. On my bookstore, you'll also find the materials and supplies that I've used for my art. Since some of you have been asking. Keep up the good work, keep practicing, never give up. When I was first thinking about the color balance for my piece, I wanted to have like colors blending into each other a lot in the hair. And I loved how I started with the warm colors and it gradually shifted into the cool purples at the ends. I just think that's just so lovely. And it gives me this feeling of a sunset, like it's really warm and uh, like tranquil and peaceful and cozy. And then now for the skin, I was thinking to do something very different since this design is quite stylized and it's outside of what I usually tend to do. I was thinking the color scheme should also reflect that. So normally I don't color my characters like quite like this. So I was thinking it would be nice to do something really different with the skin colors especially. And I wanted to do, you know, something that is kind of unexpected. What do you think this character is like? Like what, what would her personality be or where would she be living? Probably not even on Earth I'm imagining, maybe on some other distant fantastical planet or in another dimension. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, I'd love to see what you come up with. Thank you for supporting art and my channel by smashing the like button and subscribing and turning on the bell notification in case you haven't yet so you won't miss my future videos. I made a playlist just for you that's filled with a lot more of my art challenges and reimaginings. The link is in the video description. Tap that and I will see you in my next video in a few moments. There are over 50 books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week. I've got another fun Friday video. Till next time.